Are you tasked with the responsibility of granting access permissions to IT teams across your organization depending on the job roles and responsibilities? Nutanix Prism Central 2024.1 introduces fine-grain RBAC that allows you to create custom roles or use system-defined roles that has fine-grain permissions on specific API operation level and set scope on a fine-grain entity level. All this can be done by creating authorization policies in Prism's IIM. Hi, I'm Lakshana Rajendran, Technical Marketing Engineer at Nutanix. In the upcoming video series, I'll walk you through the new Nutanix Identity and Access Management RBAC features introduced in Prism Central 2024.1 and how it can help you accomplish your requirements in just a few clicks. Let's take a look. Identity and Access Management is an authentication and authorization feature utilizing attribute-based access control. Beginning with Prism Central 2024.1, several enhancements has been introduced to optimize and automate the IAM feature including new system-defined roles to streamline permission assignments with granular RBAC, making the authorization process more straightforward. Integration of role mapping and role assignment into a newly designed authorization policies workflow. A simplified workflow for CAC authentication. Before we dive in, let's level set on some concepts. Users can be local users or Active Directory users or groups. Roles define a group of operation. There are hundreds of operations across services to choose from. Each operation is mapped and enforced by a single API. There are several out-of-the-box system-defined roles and admins can also create their own custom roles. By defining scope, roles can be applied to a specific group of resources. Finally, an authorization policy defines the access by bringing together the above concepts. IAM is managed through the admin center of Prism. Let's navigate to the admin center dashboard. Click IAM. The first thing you will notice here is the authorization policies. You can see there are some system defined policies. These include policies for what was previously known as role mappings in previous version of Prism. You can duplicate the Prism viewer and Prism admin policies but cannot edit or delete them. You cannot duplicate the super admin policy. However, you can create authorization policy with the super admin role. The roles tab lets you quickly see an overview of both built-in and custom roles. You can check out details like the role name, its description, which services and entities it can access and when it was last updated. There are several system defined roles. You can duplicate these roles and add to an authorization policies but you cannot delete or modify them. You also have the option to create a new role or from an existing role. The identity tab lets you view the list of local users, imported users and user groups. Imported users are users imported from Active Directory, Open LDAP and Semel Identity Provider. It gives you the option to add a local user or you can edit a local user, change password and disable a local user. The IDP configuration tab provides a view of the IDP providers. You can add an Active Directory or Open LDAP based provider or a SML identity provider. You can set up common access card based authentication. The download metadata file allows you to download an XML file that describes Prism Central and then upload this metadata file to the identity provider. Nutanix IAM makes it easy to create authorization policies that has fine-grained permissions on specific operation on designated IT resources scope. In the upcoming videos, we'll go through example scenarios of creating and testing these ESCPs. See you in the next video.